Hi there everyone, welcome to the video lecture series of recurrence relations, I am Mayur Gohil. In this video lecture, I shall be discussing how to solve recurrence relations using generating functions. First of all, let us see what is a generating function. It looks in this format, g of x is equals to a0 plus a1x plus a2x to the power 2 plus so on a n x to the power n and plus so on. So there are infinite number of terms. So you can compactly write this in this manner g of x is equals to summation a n x to the power n, n goes from 0 to infinity. Observe over here that n for g of x, okay, the runner begins from 0 and goes up to infinity. That is what is the important part over here. Okay, now how do generating function help us in solving the recurrence relation? The main goal of recurrence relation is to find the a n. Okay, that is either in the general solution format or in the explicit solution format. So, uh, generating functions will be helping us because um, whatever is the nth term over here for uh, the, uh, whatever is the coefficient rather for the nth power of x will be our answer. So, let us see the entire concept of generating function helping us in solving recurrence relation with the help of an example. The example that I am taking over here is this a n is equals to a n minus 1 plus n where a naught is equals to 1 that is our initial condition. So let us begin solving. First of all define the generating function anytime that will be our step 1. Okay. So you define your generating function. Now you consider the recurrence relation. The step 2 will be multiply x to the power n on both the sides. Once you multiply x to the power n both the sides, you need to note over here whatever is the smallest suffix over here in the recurrence relation that would be the condition that you need to put. Okay, n will be greater than equal to 1 or n will be greater than equal to 2 and so on. Okay, that is where the condition begins with. Now, because if you put n is greater equal to 0, what will happen in that case, you will have n minus 1. So, that is not allowed in our uh, definition of the sequence. Okay, so that was in the first video lecture of recurrence relation that I had discussed. Okay, now we move on to the next step, which is very important. Take summation on both the sides and take care of the limits as per the runner. So, observe what I am going to show you here. Okay. So, this is what happens with the LHS and the RHS. The summation sign comes into the picture with the same limits on both the sides. Okay. N running from 1 to infinity, N running from 1 to infinity. The reason of this is because the smallest index that you see over here, a uh, small x uh, suffix uh, that is there in the recurrence relation is n minus 1. So, n minus 1 will be what you have to remember because there is n minus 1, you are forced to start the summation limits from 1. Okay. So, that is what is important to us over here. So, this step I am putting it a red star. Now, consider the same step and now we are interested in establishing the generating function g of x by appropriate adjustment in this star step. So, what you do, observe this LHS first of all, it is nothing but g of x minus a naught. Okay. Now, observe over here in the first term of the RHS, I am going to pull x outside. So, what will happen is summation will go from n running from 1 to infinity and it will be over a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 and keep the second term untouched. Okay. Now, again, I am just going to bother this first term of the RHS a little bit. I am now going to change n minus 1 to m and the limits of m will go from 0 to infinity. How does that happen? Put the lower limit n equal to 1 over here in this substitution. So, 1 minus 1 will give you 0. So, the lower limit for m will become 0 and the upper limit will be infinity minus 1 which is infinity. So, the upper limit will be infinity. So, that is the 
change that we are going to see. Let us see that change. That is how, this is how it looks. Now for the second term, I am going to do some minor adjustment. I am going to add 0 to that term. Now adding 0 is not going to make a big difference, but it will help us. Okay. Now, observe here, keep LHS untouched. Observe on the RHS. The first term over here is nothing but x times g of x. Recall the definition of g of x, the generating function that we had defined. It is nothing but summation a n x to the power n, where n goes from 0 to infinity. Now, instead of n, you have m. How does it matter? Because n and m both are runners and they act like a dummy variable. So, this is nothing but g of x. Okay. So, over here, I get x into g of x. Now, observe here, I have made a change that is 0 into x to the power 0. Why I have done that? See the step 4. We are establishing generating function g of x. Now, generating function g of x begins from n going from 0 to infinity, right? That is the limits that it has. So, in order to push those limits over here, I have added 0. Now, this 0 can be absorbed inside this series only when it has this pattern n into x to the power n. So, I am writing it in that manner n into x to the power n. So, 0 into x to the power 0. Now, this term can be absorbed in this series now. So, what I can now write is the limits as n equal to 0 to infinity. Moreover, this n, I can write it as n choose 1, okay? So, that is what I am going to write it in this manner. The reason I am doing this because I have a standard compact form for the same available. So, here, these three steps are important for me right now. So, please try to understand the adjustments that I have done by adding 0 seeing how this term is absorbed in the sequence, uh, sorry, in this series and how this coefficient n is changed to n choose 1, okay? It is the combination n choose 1, okay? Now, let us see further how to tackle this. We are now going to find g of x. Finding g of x is very easy now. Uh, g of x minus a naught is equals to x g of x and the summation that you see. Okay. Observe the change that I am going to make. It is g of x minus 1 minus x g of x equals to x upon 1 minus x the whole square. This a naught I have plugged as 1 and I have taken x g of x onto the LHS. This summation that you see, it is one of the standard expansions of format or the closed form of the summation is nothing but x upon 1 minus x the whole square. So, I will call this step important over here because we are dealing with a closed form of a summation for the first time. Okay. Now, further simplify, perform the algebraic calculation. You obtain g of x equals to 1 upon 1 minus x plus x upon 1 minus x the whole cube. Further, we will write the expansions for these uh, standard uh, formats. 1 upon 1 minus x I had given to you it is nothing but summation x to the power n where n goes from 0 to infinity. For the second term x upon 1 minus x the whole cube the summation is, is summation n plus 1 choose 2 times x to the power n where n goes from 0 to infinity. Okay. Now, this is also a very important step because for the first time you are with the uh, expansion and the closed form of the expansions. Okay, So, these are two new things for us. So, we are I'm putting a star over there. Now, let us see further what happens. Now, I can take the summation common and I obtain 1 plus n plus 1 choose 2 in one bracket times x to the power n and summation is going from 0 to infinity. Now, this is the form that we were interested in for a generating function and this is finally our
final answer the coefficient of x to the power n is nothing but a n and a n is 1 plus n plus 1 choose 2. So, this is the uh, nth term of our recurrence relation. This happened only because here the limits of the summation were same which is n is going from 0 to infinity for both the summation. Only that time you can take the summation common and observe that x to the power n is also situated in both the summation. Only that time this situation will arise that you can take summation and x to the power n common and you can find a n. Okay. So, once you find a n that will be your final answer. Okay. So, we are done with the solving of the problem. Please go through the entire procedure because it is for the first time you are dealing with the compact form of the summations and the summations you have to traverse in between the two back and forth. So, please go through the entire procedure once more uh, so that the procedure will seep into your uh, mind and uh, you can practice these two problems uh, for the generating function method and find their answers uh, for the nth term for these two recurrence relations. Okay. Uh, one more important thing that I would like to uh, mention over here, these two summations that you can see over here, uh, these two star steps rather, I will be showing you how to derive these two compact forms from the summations over here that you can see. So, it would be in my next video lecture. You, till then you can if you can manage these two oh, recurrence relations without that it's well and good otherwise you can watch that video lecture and then solve these two practice questions that would also be very helpful to you okay so till then keep solving good amount of mathematics thank you